We've got a text message from Lewis who's saying, James Foster in, we need to pick on form. And several people have been mentioning that name. I've also got Gordon F who says the wicketkeeper should be Phil Mustard. Uh, he was picked, but he got injured and he hasn't had a sniff since. of extra time the chat show that brings together international journalists all into one room to discuss everyone's favorite topic football welcome to a wet and rainy Stamford bridge for the crucial return leg between chelsea and liverpool chelsea with a slim advantage with the away goal courtesy of john arnarisa and shaka what an emotional week it's been for chelsea and of course frank lampard a player you know only too well from your playing days with west ham andy murray has cruised to a straight sets win over jürgen meltzer booking his fourth round meeting with fernando vadasco the emphatic 7-5, 6 love, 6-3 victory for the 21-year-old secures his meeting with a 14th seed Vadasco. He's beaten the Spaniard in all five of their previous meetings and brings him a step closer to his first ever Grand Slam win. Jose, first of all, thanks very much for joining me in your first season as Inter Milan coach. Managerially, how different is it in Italy to, to the job in England? So there's so much transfer speculation and uh, lots of players that are, are said to be exiting Inter, such as Bediso, Crespo, and so many names, in fact. I won't ask you about each individual, mm -hmm. but would you expect there to be some movement in this January transfer window? No, it's still, it's still open. Sir Alex Ferguson is hopeful Cristiano Ronaldo will extend his current four-year contract with the club. The Manchester United manager says Ronaldo has always been happy at Old Trafford, despite the interest from Real Madrid. Ferguson has also warned that very few players ever leave United against his will. Is this a step into Hollywood? No, 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 no. I'm a footballer and that's, uh, that's where it stops. But, you know, I think all the players have enjoyed this and uh, we're going to enjoy it tonight. So you've just come back from the World Tour, obviously, and it was it was phenomenal reception in every country. Do you think a film like this is going to make it even bigger? Well, if Real Madrid can get any bigger than they are, then you know uh, something like this is going to do that. And at number one, the Wally with the Brolly, Steve McLaren, or Steve, as he's now known after acquiring a new Dutch accent. I sort of knew uh, when I came here and uh, Champions League. Steve, what were you thinking? Well, those are your top comedy footballing moments of 2008. Have a fantastic new year. As the fans gather outside the Santiago Bernabeu, there's another crucial game being played, this time in Barcelona. If Espanyol managed to beat Sevilla, that means Real Madrid could sit second in the league table. So the game ended one goal apiece, but it was less about the quality on the pitch than the quality of the pitch itself, which was more like an ice rink. It was a hard-fought 90 minutes for the boys, and Cassano opened the scoring. It looked like it was going to go the way of the Whites, but in the dying minutes, it was the home side who equalised. Well, that's what the King's Cup's all about, of course, and there's lots of work to be done in the return leg at the Santiago Bernabeu. It's interesting. I was watching the game with uh, the commentators from Real Madrid Television. They actually said to me that Rubinho has never, never, for Real Madrid in two seasons, taken a free kick, and, uh, and possibly never for, uh, for Brazil as well. In fact, they said he was probably the last person in the squad that they would have given it to, and and he did quite well, didn't he? As for Barcelona, well, the good news is that Lionel Messi is in the side. Of course, he was a substitute in the uh, Espanyol, the City derby, made an instant impact, so fantastic news. This is going to be entertainment. This is the game that every neutral wanted to be the final. Alison Bender, ESPN, at the Nou Camp.